Hey guys, and welcome to my new video, whatever it is. Today it's not going to be something, you know, funny, silly, entertaining, anything like that. This video is dedicated to a serious problem, a serious trouble that keeps happening. And uh, now, even when the awareness is spreading and people are getting to know about that, even knowing that fact, this shit keeps happening. All I'm going to do now is to, you know, express my personal opinion about that because, well, <laughs> because I've, I've kind of faced it myself. But first of all, before you just start panicking or something like that, I want to clearly point out that I've never in my life ever faced any of the major sexual harassment. I still want to speak up about that because I faced some of those and maybe they weren't so serious but I still recognize it as a harassment and I just want to talk about that today. And also I hope that some of the girls, women or anything uh, can find this video relatable a little bit to them because you know, sometimes when you see that someone is going through things that you have gone through or something like that, you can feel a little bit better about that. I don't know why I feel better somehow, because you kind of think that, well, this person had done this shit as well, so it's kind of normal. There was one case that happened to me several years ago, and then there were several other cases that happened later, and I want to talk about that and I want to point out that those cases were a little bit different, like my attitude to that were diff was different. So it was several years ago when it happened to me, it was the Victoria Day and I came to the... it took place in Moscow City Center, so I came there myself, by myself. Um, I, went to I wanted to see the parade because it was some was supposed to be some you know major celebration parade and everything like that. I'm just I'm one of those people who likes to hang out by myself, so I most of the times I just don't take anybody like any of my friends or anything with me. So I just go there somewhere by myself and hang out myself. So I don't see anything bad in it. I came there to the place and as soon as the parade started, uh, the place. Uh, got crowded, like really crowded, and there were a lot of people everywhere. And I stood on, stood up on a bench, I think, because otherwise I wouldn't see anything, so... And also there were like two or three people standing with me on that bench. And there was one dude that stood up next to me on this bench, and he almost fell off because, you know, like, there were two or three people, two or three more people than that. And to prevent falling off, he took me on my shoulders and he just almost fell off and he took me to, the, to my shoulders and he said, oh my god, I'm sorry. And I believed him that he didn't, didn't do that on purpose or something like that. And um, maybe he didn't also. And I said, no, no, that's okay, that's all right. So apparently I was wrong just say so. Then people started moving here and there, all, even on that bench that we were standing in. And this dude, this fucking dude that was standing next to me, he fucking took the full advantage out of it. So he was literally grabbing all the parts of my body that he could reach to. And the worst thing is that I couldn't fucking do anything because the place was crowded and people were standing too close to me and I couldn't like even move my, you know, legs and or arms or anything. Moreover, I was under 16 by that time, so I was kind of, you know, scared and confused and I, I, I didn't know what's going on. I was just like, what do I do? What do I do in this situation? He clearly didn't want to go any th further with that because there were so many people to do so, but he was doing it continuously and I was just feeling shocked about that. And what's more disgusting about that is that afterwards, some time later, I just somehow escaped it and I left the parade earlier, so 
I kind of, you know, went, went there and I didn't really care about the parade anymore at all. And that man, he didn't even notice it. I remember his arms being on me first. And then when I left, I remember his arms being like that and like nothing has happened. And he was all happy, all fine about that and just chill and everything. He didn't even care how that random girl felt about that. He didn't even care if, she, if I wanted to do so. He didn't even care about all that. He was a fucking animal, he took all the advantage of it. Everything he could. He just took what he saw. Like a fucking pathetic animal. I'm one of those people who haven't got their first kiss or first relationship until 17 years old because, you know, that's how things got. And now you can probably understand what I thought because I was basically a little kid in my age, of my age and this fucking animal douche just took it like that, not even caring about that. It's just like, oh, that's a girl, I'm gonna grab her, no matter what. What's going to happen, I don't care because I see it and I want to touch it. That's how disgusting it is. Now, I feel more confident about that when such things happen. I'm not feeling scared and confused anymore. I feel like, oh fuck, oh, how dare you do that? Oh, are you serious? Like, I'm going to fucking hit you or something like that. So now there is a time for the story that happened a lot, a lot long, after that, so it was like years later. One of them happened like two or three days ago, so basically nowadays. So sometimes I go, I have to go to the university or from the university when the underground is extremely crowded, when there are the hours like 7 or 8 a.m. in the morning or again 6 or 7 p.m. in the evening so when the underground is extremely crowded with people and you literally can't move when you enter the train so like every person just like every person i ended the underground i ended the crowded train and i go there so a bit like a couple of stations you have to go basically like that so you can't move your anything and you just stay in there and basically all the people around you they just like stand really really close to you and then the dude under the train stands next to me and we are going nothing is happening and then this fucking douche starts to fucking harass me by touching my inner legs every time I try to you know move a little bit and I was trying to you know turn it he was fucking looking at me like oh my god what are you doing like don't 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 stop it don't stop it for me and I was so pissed at that because how how fucking dare you? How fucking dare you looking at me like that? Am I your fucking property so you see me and you want to want to touch me or something like that? And I I didn't I should mind it? What the fucking cunt are you? So what I did, I turned around and I was extremely pissed off with all my bags. I wasn't care about all the people in the train back there. And I turned around and I said Excuse me, mister. Literally the second, the very second I said it, he put his hand off me and he made it look like nothing has happened. But I made sure that it was him who was doing that. I saw his hand basically in the mirror of the doors in front of me and I kept looking at him. He was nervous, he was looking fucking nervous because he clearly didn't want to take any responsibility for that. And then we arrived to the station like a minute after that. And he literally ran out of the train and he literally was walking like so 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 fucking fast like the opposite direction I decided that I don't want to mess with it and I just went to the direction I was heading But I still felt better that I at least told him something That I at least looked at him and I pushed him away and I said Mister, excuse me, what are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? And again, it's probably nothing in comparison with actual sexual harassment at work or at something like that when women literally were raped or something like that it's it's nothing probably it's just not even close to that but it's still something that people should change their opinion their opinion about that because it's serious problem it's a major problem and we all should like sit and think about that like wow how come 
this is the 21st century and it still happens. Like animals like that exist and they behave like that because they're assholes. So I'm appealing to you, man, all the men who has ever done something like that, who have ever thought about doing so, even about those who laugh at bad cases and think this is cool. Well, listen to me, listen closer, please. You're a fucking disguise. You're a pathetic animal, which has no brain, no respect, and you deserve no respect at all. You deserve not a single hair from those girls' heads that you've ever touched, you've ever grabbed, and you've ever raped. You're not king of this world. If you have an ability to do something, it doesn't fucking mean that you can do that. That you have any right, any fucking right to do so. So put your fucking hands down, your fucking dirty hands down and deal with the fact that you can't get a girl by just grabbing her. And you should know that Karma is a bitch and she'll come and get you one day. And she'll come and get you just as hard as you got your victim. Because you fucking deserve it. And that's the only thing you deserve. And if you have ever been in a situation like mine, and if you haven't, I'm glad, I'm truly happy for you because this is something you you just you were happy enough to not experience that anything like that so i'm not saying that i've experienced a lot of stuff no those were just the cases that uh i've been through and just wanted to talk about them and i still do not recognize it as something too way too serious and way too horrible that's why i'm that calm right now but if you ever been there you gotta know that one day one day after all this shit happens, you'll be confident, you'll be strong enough, and when they push you, you'll push back twice as hard. So thanks for watching this video. Anyway, um, I hope you got something out of it. I hope you rethink your position or you agree with me on that or something like that. So, see you in the and I will see you really soon. Bye.